Oh yay. So I am doing another quickie. However, I will be cutting two albums out of this, Greatest Hits and Scaled and Icy, uh, just because I have actual thoughts on them that I want to uh, put more deeply into an actual review, and instead of talking about it a little bit here and sort of spoiling it, I'll just not talk about it. Cool? Cool. So, let's get on with this. Starting, of course, with Nothing Nowhere, it's Trauma Factory. I like this a lot more than I thought I would. I thought this was going to be just a bad attempt at pop punk. Instead, it was a good attempt at trap. Let me explain. I don't really believe this is a pop punk record. Aside from Blood, tra the title track, and Nightmare, none of these really resemble pop punk. I could see this being emo rap, more leaning into the emo side, but of course still more emo rapish, but I still like it. It's a 7 out of 10 out of me. The single album by No FX. No effects, there's no effects, there's no effects, there's no effects. I like every song off this album, except for Linolum. Except for Linolum. Except for Linolum. No, they tackle these weird topics. Uh, fuck Eucalyptism is about uh, the Fat Mike's. Uh, more uh, gender uh, fluidness. Uh, my bro, can't can, can, cancer of can whatever cancer of cancer is about uh, it's like the healthcare system. <laughs> but overall, I like this album. I think it's a solid eight out of ten. Rare Americans two by Rare Americans. The sophomore album is not a slump in any way, shape, or form. In fact, I really enjoy this. Like, a lot. The only song I don't like is Falling Down. This is an 8 out of 10. You're Welcome by A Day to Remember. Uh, A Day to Remember have never really been a, my cup of tea, and this album, it's no different. There are songs that I actually do quite enjoy. Mind Reader, Bloodsucker, Re Resonant, High Diving, How Looks Like Hell, and Le Viva La Mexico are all songs I will probably return to a lot. However, for every one of those, you get two Brick Walls, two Last Chance to Dance, Bad Friend, two uh, Only Money, where they're just not at all good. So, it's a 4 out of 10, which is probably generous, honestly, but whatever. Neurotius by Chevelle. Um, um, I think this is a concept album. In fact, I know this is a concept album, but the concept was pretty hard for me to track. Uh, and even though the songs were still very solid, even without the concept, uh, I mean, I'd still... It's only a 6 out of 10, honestly, for me. South Loop Summer by Hospital Bracelet. Oh, God, I love this. Um, yeah. These songs are insanely good. I There's not one song that I don't like out of this. Not one. So the title track is very good. Sober Haha ha, JK Unless is probably going to be my song of the year. Hell, Feral That Anthem is one of my favorites. Sour OG RPG is hilariously sad. It's just perfect mayhem for perfectness. Ah! Uh, this, however, isn't a perfect album, of course. I mean, there's only... There's an 11 out of 10, a 10 out of 10. There's one 11, one 10, and, one not, and everything else is a 9. But this is pretty damn close. Loyalty Over Royalty by C... Oh, this is a 9 out of 10. Loyalty Over Royalty by CJ. I did not suspect I would like this album as, lot, as much as I did. It's like... This album is addictive. Like, um... As CJ so lovingly puts it on Whoopty, uh, Blue Cheese. 
6 out of 10. Uh, this new Justin Bieber album, Justice. It's not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well, actually, it is bad, but it's also very good. There are songs like uh, Deserve You, like uh, Off My Face, like, um, oh, hell, The Interlude, that are just terrible. I hate them. With a burning passion. But then there are songs like As I Am, like uh, Unstable, like uh, Peaches, like um, Oh, Love By You, that are just amazing, really. Beautiful. Incredible. Fantastical. Love it. Uh, yeah, so this is a 5 out of 10. Don't Forget Where You Came From by Goody Grace. I never thought a Goody Grace record would be worse than a Justin Bieber record, but here we are. I actually liked Goody Grace before this album. I thought Scumbag and I, was a very good song. And honestly, on this album, I still think Grape Swisher, <laughs> Grape Soda, is very good. I think Auburn is pretty good. I think Goody Grace is best where he's leaning into a more rock side however where he's leaning into this rap side he just doesn't get the job done this is a four out of ten uh roadrunner new light and new machine by brock hampton god i love this record two songs that are just meh window and when i ball other than that everything else is good Listen to, oh, I don't know, Don't Shoot Up the Party. Listen to, oh, I don't know, What's the Occasion. Listen to, oh, I don't know, Buzz Cut. Just listen to it all, honestly. Even the me mediocre tracks. Uh, it's 9 out of 10. Let the Bad Times Roll by The Offspring. I don't know if you noticed, but I don't give out very many bad reviews. I like to see the positivity in an album. And uh, The Offspring got no different treatment. While, yeah, these songs did have bad things about them, I let the good shine. Because I'm positive. While, yeah, the last three songs, so songs and In the Hall of the Mountain King, were, uh, well, not good at all. I thought Lullaby was the worst song on this album, and it was a 0 out of 10 for me. Gone Away, the piano version, A is just lazy, and B is just bad anyway. And Hassan Chop is just, uh, not good in the slightest. But overall, I mean, I'd give this a 7 out of 10. The Off Season by J. Cole. Mike the Snare, you're wrong. This is a good album. I think there's one, sorry, two, uh, bad songs. Uh, Punch in the Clock and, uh, The Interlude. However, other than that, everything else is good. Hunger on the Hillside, uh, I don't know, Applying Pressure, uh, I don't know, Pride is the Devil, uh, I don't know, 100 Mile, uh, I don't know, anything with Boss, really. This is an 8 out of 10. If I Could Make It All Go Quiet by Girl in Red. I actually liked Girl in Red before this, and uh, I still like Girl in Red, but, uh, look, you get, I think, six of these songs, Serotonin, Did You Come, Body and Mind, Midnight Love, You Stupid Bitch, and Rue, which are all very good. I like all of those songs. But then you get Horny Lovesick Mess, Apartment 402, Period, I'll Call You Mine, It Would Feel Like This, which are all bad. So I just gave it an even 5 out of 10. Well, the good is very good, the bad is very bad. So... Uh, Life in Your Glass World by Citizen. I didn't know who Citizen were when I, like, listened to this. I know who Citizen are now, and I love them. This album right here, not one bad song. Not a single bad song. Every song slaps. Every song is good. You get this headbanging to this crying, and it's perfect. <sighs> well, it's not perfect, but, you know, it's very close. It's a 9 out of 10. 
And finally, Unbothered by Lil Skies. One good song. One. One. Uno. Take Five. Take Five I actually really liked. I think Take Five was a good song. And I think Fade Away wasn't bad either. But other than those two songs, which are the first two songs on the album, which this is what, a 17 song album, I believe. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Sorry, a 14 song album. It's a 1 out of 10. 1 out of 10. Alright, thank you for watching this uh, video. If you want to see another, uh, I will be posting the Scaled and Icy review and the Greatest Hits review. And then I'll do probably do one more of these. I'm just sort of counting these right now. Six, eight. Okay, I do not have enough albums to do one more of these. But I'll, I'll start doing individual reviews more often. Uh, so, yeah. Peace.